This programme contains strong language, sexual scenes and references from the outset and throughout. Party's going so well, everyone's having fun and the atmosphere's brilliant. For fuck's sake, the girl who Aaron got the number from at work is here at the party. I feel so sorry for Marnie. If I was in her position, I'd be so pissed off. <laughs> Sean is trying to make us feel better because Aaron hasn't done anything with the girl yet. And I'm not being funny. Why else would he invite her here? I just want to get fucking mortal. <laughs> Marnie is absolutely fucked. She's just doing anything for Aaron's attention. I'm fucking furious. I just want to go, man! I'm really worried about Marnie. She's the only girl I love in the house. I just don't want to see her get hurt again. You talk to that girl. She's fucking beautiful, and I can't compete with the... Stop it, the stop it, 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 Yeah, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it. Aaron has made me feel this big. How can he do that to us? And I hate them wings as well. Seeing Marnie this upset confirms everything I knew about Aaron. I just hope he has the decency to leave her alone now. I look over and Aaron is all over that girl. <laughs> Fuck it, I'm gonna make him just as low as he's just made me feel. I'm gonna use you to make him jealous. Unfortunately, Kyle's the only lad close to us. Whoa, whoa, shit. I look up and see Marnie and Kyle necking on. Wow, for once, I'm actually speechless. Kyle, Kyle, Kyle! World War Three is about to be unleashed. Kyle's gonna go, Gary says that Kyle and Marnie have just necked on. Are you fucking joking? What is wrong with us? I've just made everything ten times worse. No, Holly, no. Like, stop being so drunk. I'm just necked on... Who? To make him jealous! You're just necked on with Kyle. What the hell is going on? One, he's meant to be her best friend, and two, he's meant to be Aaron's. They're both playing these silly little games, and it needs to stop now. Mate, I'm, I'm, I'm really sorry. She just done it. I'm re mate, I'm honestly, I'm really sorry. I know I invited that girl to the party, but that wasn't an invite for Kyle to kiss Marnie. I thought we were mates. Oh, sorry, mate. I can't believe I did that. It literally came from nowhere. It felt like I kissed my sister. I'm so sorry, mate. Kyle's apologised a million times and he actually looks like he's gonna cry. Mate, I hope you do cry. That's what you deserve. What the fuck you just done? Shh. <laughs> I'm so fucking angry, I'm smashing everything in the house. I wish it was Kyle's face. <laughs> Hang on a minute. If everyone had just stuck to the people who were originally meant to be kissing, none of this would have happened. Thick! Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm genuinely, I'm genuinely sorry. The fucking sly prick is apologising over and over. You mean nothing to me, mate. Fuck off. I don't care anymore. I'm sorry. No, I mean, Kyle, I don't care anymore. What's going on, boys? Aaron and Kyle are arguing in the bedroom. In comes Scott like fucking Big Bird and just starts arguing over nothing. I'm just saying it doesn't make sense. I'm being necked on with fucking Marnie. I, I, I didn't, didn't go on Marnie. What did you do? I didn't just want to do that. I smashed him with a shot. Gaz is going to peer in on Kyle here, but give the kid a break. It wasn't that long ago that Gaz has done far worse to everyone else. Sounds to me he's been knocking around with the double standards mafia. Tell me how weird it is him necking on Marnie. How weird is that with one of you? Guys, no, knows he's in the wrong, but I kind of believe he's squaring up was like, I've inhaled bigger meals than him for breakfast, the little Raji. Take it, take it, take it, take it, take it, We are not this argument is out of control. There's fans across the room, chairs across the room, the dressing table's fucked. 